Hey, I'm Dr. Brett Rayner, uh, orthopedic surgeon here at Texas Orthopedic Associates in Dallas, Texas. So for someone who's considering having a hip arthroscopy or a hip scope surgery, um, a few things you can do pre-op to help yourself. So the first thing is do everything you can to try and avoid the operation. We try physical therapy, sometimes we try injections, and we really work on getting the muscles around that hip strong because a lot of people have labral tears and they're not painful. Some of these remain painful though, in which case we need an operation, but all that work you did to try to avoid an operation is still important because the stronger you go into a surgery, the stronger you're gonna be after the surgery and those muscles take a hit when we operate on them. So as strong as you can make those muscles going in, the better your recovery is gonna be. Uh, furthermore, what you have to realize too is when we shave the bone down as part of this operation, um, most of us will place you on crutches for a period of time after this operation. And so if you're a normal person with real life responsibilities, being on crutches is never convenient. And so finding, so it can sometimes be a surprise. Um, and so after surgery, um, what you can expect is to be on and crutches for even up to six weeks after this operation. Usually it's around four weeks. Um, less of a deal when it's your left hip. When it's your right hip, that means you're not really supposed to drive uh, unless you can put all your weight on that leg. And so most of us are fine with you being at work or working after this, but getting to work can sometimes be a surprise for people who haven't planned around that. So um, finding somebody to drive you, we've had people take ride shares to, um, to work and back from work and to their appointments after surgery. Um, but that's one thing. And then setting up physical therapy afterwards. Physical therapy is a big deal. After this operation, it keeps scar tissue from forming in and to start strengthening up those muscles around the hip. But when we shave that bone down, uh, it's kind of like having a temporary stress fracture. And so I'll usually place somebody on crutches for about four weeks after this operation. Furthermore, there's a little lining around the hip called the capsule that even though we're doing this through small little poke hole incisions with a camera, we have to make a little incision in that lining and it can theoretically create some instability in the hip. Now I close that back together at the end, but because of that, I'll, we usually restrict your external rotation for three weeks after the operation. So when we talk about restrictions after this operation, for the first three weeks, we don't let you externally rotate your hip or let your hip roll out. And we don't let you put all your weight on it. And then after that, you start putting weight on it and then you start strengthening. In between weeks six and 12, you're really doing a lot of strengthening of the muscles around the hip. And I'm not gonna lie, sometimes they're not super happy about it. Um, a lot of times from week six to 12, it's kind of two steps forward and one step back as you're strengthening those muscles up around the hip. Um, and so what I tell people after this operation is you're gonna be on crutches for four weeks and you're gonna need someone to help you for about the first four to six weeks. Um, but most people are feeling pretty good at six weeks, very good at three months and pretty much back to normal at six months. Now the studies show that you can take even up to two years to have full, full recovery from this operation, but most people are doing everything that they wanna do between four and six months after this operation.